Hello there guys and welcome back to The Grind. In today's video, we will be taking a look at some of the mistakes you need to avoid as a beginner in Rust. But first, we need you guys to leave a like on the video and for more Rust content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon too so that you can get notifications every time we upload a brand new video. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get right on with the video. This one may seem a little obvious, but you'd be surprised how many players walk around with a torch at night. This is the best way to make yourself a target for other players, so it's better to stay in the dark. In addition to this, make sure you cook enough food during the daytime. Make a habit of always checking your food supplies before the night falls. If you really have to cook at night though, make sure you do it away from your base to avoid advertising your base's location to raiders. This is perhaps the most common mistake most people make in Rust, and that is farming far more than necessary. Although it can be very tempting to gather rather large amounts of resources at once, it makes dying all the more frustrating. It is instead better to gather small amounts of the resources you need right in the moment and return them to your base regularly. Your very first choice in Rust is choosing a server to play on. Many newcomers just go for a highly populated official server, but these are often full of experienced players. As a newcomer, you need to find some time to figure out how to play without repeatedly getting killed right after spawning. You should therefore join a beginner-friendly server. So, we suggest taking a look at some of the community servers. Official servers tend to be really populated and there will be all the experienced players, and you can even come across loads of hackers as well. And when starting out, you definitely don't want that, so community servers are well monitored and overall much better for your Rust experience in the beginning. One of the very first items that you need in Rust is a sleeping bag. By placing one on the ground, you create a custom respawn point. Having one early on is going to save you the frustration of respawning on the beach, which is the default spawn point, and having to walk all the way back. Trust me, every Rust player dreads that. This one may either seem straightforward or odd depending on who's watching, but early game you should gather lots and lots of wood. This is all you need to build your first base, so don't waste time on other resources. It is your essential starting resource. Focus on that. Buildings don't last forever and especially not in rust. Your base will decay over time and the only way you can prevent this is by doing some upkeep. So you must build a tool cupboard from 1000 wood and then place this in your base. This is already one of the first things you should build with your base by the way. Then you must put a certain amount of the building materials you used inside the cupboard. The bigger your base, the more upkeep it requires, so maybe don't build yourself a castle because that will take a lot of materials. You should build at least two rooms with locked doors and stash your items in the last one. If an enemy player gets through the first, they will still not be able to reach your stored items. Just remember to always lock the door behind you first, even if it means dying, because your stash is probably worth more than the items you have on your body. Another smart thing to do is to place your doors in a way that blocks the passage inside of your base. This is so you can increase the time it takes for raiders to get through to your base. Every second counts when it's a raid. You can do it as shown in the earlier clip. Also, be sure to make passages in your base very small too, so that raiders are not able to move around too freely. The location of your base has a lot of influence on your success in the game. Try to find a well-hidden spot with plenty of nearby resources. But don't walk further than necessary. There is no use running hard halfway across the map only to get killed and respawn miles away. You can always create more bases later on. The best place is in a forest. The desert on the other hand is dangerous and the snowy areas are, well, cold. You need to be well prepped to be able to brave those conditions. It's always a good idea to be close to roads and old towns to search for better materials later on. And with that guys, those are eight mistakes that you can avoid making in Rust. We've given some amazing tips that we hope will help you in your new journey in Rust. For now though, thank you for watching today's video. If if you did enjoy it, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. And of course, if you do all those things, then click the bell notification so that you don't miss any future videos. We'll see you guys in the next one, but until then, take care.